Hello everyone, I am the Dark Lord 2672 and I keep forgetting to say my little darklings crap. <laughs> I am with my friend right here. Lightning Strike. How are yes. you doing everybody? And we are playing zombies. We are well we're playing Black Ops 2 Zombies on Green Run Survival. We are in town, right? Yeah, town. Okay. Playing as a CIA. Well, government officials that don't like to tell anyone shit. What? Government officials that don't like to tell anyone about this. <sighs> <sighs> Never warn them of missiles coming down to Earth. You let them live their final days. Peace. You know what I want to know about this map? Like, I get how the zombie apocalypse and everything, the whole world is going crazy. Yeah. But, how is there lava? It's because of the first Black Ops, um, uh, Moon, the, um, uh, missile targeted Earth, and... Why lava, I still don't know. Like, I don't know. I just find it kind of odd. And I know this is probably weird to say for a game of zombies, but it's sort of unrealistic why the lava is just so close. Yeah. But, you know, whatever. Unless we're on like a lava plume, like this town was built on a lava plume. That's what it looks like, doesn't it? Yeah, basically. I mean, who decided to put a town on a lava plume anyway? I figured you'd dig a little bit and find it. This lava is gonna kill me. So, what do you want to talk about while we kill zombies? Uh, let's talk about life and how much the government really hates us, really. Oh, yeah. The government really does. <clears throat> I mean, you have to pay taxes and yada, yada, yada. I understand they need the money to pay back China, but come on. Yeah, and I mean, the huge debt. But, uh, I still don't get it. I, I really do hate seeing $60 every week go out of my paycheck just for taxes. I know. Most of which I don't get back. <clears throat> Granted, some of it I do get back, but I could really use the money that is not going to tax, that wouldn't be going to tax. <laughs> How did you die? I was trying to knife on me. Oh wait, why did, why did I waste so? <clears throat> Where's the box? Oh, it's in that building. I'll buy it the first one. There you go, you got the box. All to myself, yay. Yeah, just give me the last zombie so I can try to get my friends up. There we go. I just needed one zombie. The mystery box still hates me. Why, what'd you get? You know how in the last one I got the normal... Ah, uh, you got the chica. I got chica. <laughs> <laughs> in the last game of zombies we played non-recording, I got the 5.7 the first time. This time I got 5.7 dual wielded. And I'm still getting shitty weapons from the box. At least it's not the sniper rifle. Yet. Yet. The next thing, I, next thing I know, I'm gonna be getting the DSR-50. <laughs> Again. No, the first one I was the Baron. Oh yeah. But hold on, why would they, why would they implement a um, uh, Black Ops One scenery with, with the AKs and stuff, and not throw them into the actual multiplayer? Oh, you mean the actual AK-47s? Yeah, why did they have to take those out and replace them with the AN? I'm not sure. But, uh... Ammo. I don't know, really. I guess just to give you the you-can-only-use-futuristic-weapon feel. But there are also futuristic weapons in the main. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not sure. One time I wanted to do a video series of nothing but challenges for Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. One of them was uh, zombie mode using nothing but pistols. Must have been hard. It was until I got the ray gun and the uh, python. Yeah, ray gun and python is the way to go. Yeah, and I, uh, this was in Black Ops 1, and it was after they gave us, uh, Mule Kick. In Black Ops 1, so, I had the original pistols, too. I got PhD Flopper, Mustang and Sally, because I got PhD Flopper, the Python, and the Ray Gun. I made it to around 19, I think, and then I got trapped. But I had to throw away the recording because it corrupted halfway through. So yeah, for my little factory workers that seen me back in my... Really a good place for me, Skelton High Spire, it actually... Um, I don't know, you might have to fix your mic, but it's starting to get really hard to hear you. Really? Yeah. I don't understand why. It shouldn't be... Oh, there we go, it's a little better now. Yeah. Oh, now it went away again. Really, is it really doing this? It's like, it sounds like you're getting far away from it, more like. I'm not, because I'm still at the same... No, not right now. Mm, I'm not sure. But uh, you might want to say that again, what you were saying about your factory workers. But yeah, my little factory workers. Um, Steelton, back in the old place I was, I actually moved and got myself a haircut. And Steelton, for me, wasn't really a uh, good place for education. Yeah, from what you told me, it really didn't sound like it. Yeah. Cool. Uh, reload. What? Reload, max ammo. Grab it. But when you're talking about how good your team is all the time, it's it gets it gets annoying because you're not always going to win every single game. Yeah. When I was, oh, go ahead. Not only that, I'm a. Uh, it's like everybody one bad Facebook message about someone. Everybody wants to get on your ass about it. At my high school, when I was still in high school, uh, just letting you know, I opened up the jug. Okay. I don't have to support it. But, um, when I was still in high school, uh, my school, all they cared about, it seemed like, was winning sports. You know what the f hilarious thing is? What? We only were good at one sport. We had golf, football, basketball, baseball, softball, volleyball. You know what we were good at? What? Women's volleyball and softball. Oh, Steelman was good at football. They had a lot of stereotypes in Steelman. Yeah, mine did too. 
Which stereotype clique did you fit into? I fell into like the group. Well, that would be considered weird. I fell into the weird goth kids that stayed at the end of the room. And that was in some classes. In some classes, I mixed with the stoners just because I would talk to them and not... Like, I would just hang out with them because they would actually talk to me. Yeah. I didn't smoke pot at all. But they considered me a part of their clique. Just also because I could tell when they've been smoking and I would hand them a piece of gum. <laughs> also. Fetch me this! Fetch me this! Oh, yeah, that's right. I implemented dogs in this pot. Well, that's good. We get more max ammos. Yeah. I'm over here at the box if you want to join. Well, I've won the box, okay. You do? Oh, yeah, uh, old box. Oh, but later I accidentally joined a new clique that was just made, and it only had four people in it. You know who, what it was? The Brony clique. Ah. Uh. Me and three friends found out we all liked ponies. <laughs> and so we just started hanging out in the library in a corner at our own table. Talked about ponies, drew ponies, and everything. And this was before I got into the dark side of my little pony, a.k.a. Grimdark. You can be and all that stuff. Yeah, and I was highly into... Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, all that stuff, non-corrupt whatsoever. And then there was Cupcakes and Shed.exe. Those aren't actually what got me into it. I never saw them until way after. Do you know why I am so highly to the uh, original Crooked Trees Tumblr? What? That's what got me into it. I found that on Milas Gonzo's dubs when he was doing them. I just found them because I was looking at My Little Pony stuff. I watched his dubs and I fell in love. I started following the Tumblr. And then next thing you know, NSFW everywhere. Yeah. And again, that's just like the general. <laughs> So yeah, that's how I got into ponies, basically. I got into ponies because of a Minecraft mod. <laughs> oh wait, sorry, I lied. That is not how I got into ponies, that's how I got into Grimdark. But a Minecraft mod? Yeah. Nice. Nice brony mod. <laughs> I guess how you could really say I got into the original My Little Pony to begin with would be my cousin who was a who is against my little pony. He was against it? Yeah, and he's the one that got me into it. I wonder how that works. Hey, have you heard of that weird show that like guys are bowing down to? What show? I live under a rock. I'm just gonna say that first. What show? A show called My Little Pony. I never heard of it. So while I try to watch it, it's pretty bad. I don't see why everybody else is into it. So, uh, I don't know. And then I he like tried to show me a video, and it was uh, actually Rainbow Dash gay or European. Like look it up on YouTube, you'll find it. And I watched it, and I started liking the ponies. And I started watching the show. And then he found out I was a brony later on. He said, I cannot believe you. The goth kid. The kid that looks like death every single day is watching My Little Pony. <laughs> it's a good show. 
I know. Also, I can bring up. I got DSR. I completely forgot about the box. <laughs> but, uh. Period. EMP grenades, kind of useless here. Yeah, they are. They only put some. I got the Barret again! Eh. That's the same fucking weapons I had last match. <laughs> the M1216. Fucking crap. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna. Oh crap! Go for pocket. Go ahead. Go ahead. Pocket. Or revive me, whichever. I don't like leaving a man behind, sir. Okay, see you. Sorry, dude. Crap. I hate this gun so much. I know, I hate it as well. Yeah, let me tell you guys about my teacher. My teacher, I'm a... He gave us a lecture on why we shouldn't leave the classroom because we have to basically get up to go grab something. We would either be A, fired, or B, just get less money. Meanwhile, what does she do? She goes, she says she'll be back and goes out to her car to grab something that we that she forgot. Meanwhile, we're only asking to go across the hallway to our lockers and get something. Not only that, you know how... You know how people say, like, don't get smart with me and stuff? Yeah. They say to teachers. Teachers said, well, you're you're in school, you're supposed to get smart, so that thing makes sense. Meanwhile, she said the exact same thing to us. Exact same thing. Okay, I'm about to have to make a crawler or something, because I'm about to have to go do something right quick. Because someone will not stop calling me. Is that Blitz again? No, it's, uh... Uh, my mom. She's actually needing me to go do something right quick, so I'm going to go in this corner, and I hate this because I'm recording. You may want to pause the recording. Yeah. Well, I can try to keep them entertained for a while. You're dead. I know, but I meant with my words. Oh. oh my gosh, this person keeps calling me. I'm going to try to get in this corner, and I'll be right back, and I'll let you entertain. Okay. Be right back. Well, it's just you and me now, factory workers and little darklings. So, uh, let me think. I'm trying to think of a story to give you guys. Um, sorry, I shouldn't be moving around while I do this. <laughs> Such a scrub. Uh, I have a feeling he's gonna die. He's gonna. Nah, I believe in him. He's he's he's. He'll be back. He'll be back. But anyways, how's life for you guys? My life. Went from crap to good to back to crap and then back to good. Um, I'm not trying to give a bad mention on Steel, but crap out of Kobe. Crap! I tried to come back before the zombies came. <laughs> Oh, that was a good game. I got two down, and he has one. I would absolutely afford him that match. <laughs> but anyways, um, um, my girlfriend, me and my girlfriend Lolo, often have. Man, I am so not what. Uh, how do I put words? How words put? Put. I am horrible at commentary. I I'm gonna admit this now. I am horrible with commentary, especially when there's nothing really going on. But anyways, 
Give me a moment to think of what to say. I can't think of anything. This video may get boring eventually because Kobe has to do share. Sounds like he's back right now, but I can't. Let me just. Yeah. Anyways, I guess I should talk about what how my school day was. My school day was actually pretty good. My um, uh, middle, the high school that I'm in, um, it's it's amazing. Teachers allow me to listen to music, so that way we have something to do while we're uh, the teachers there allow us to listen to music while we're working. There, that that got out, and like I. There's nothing really much to say, really, for me. Just... Okay, I'm back. Okay. I was trying to keep him entertained with my horrible commentary. <laughs> so sorry about that. My mom wanted something and she wouldn't get up to get it herself, so I had to. Lazy people. So, yeah, and I came back, tried to run away to the run across the map again, and right when I did, I was trapped. I didn't, I totally did not say you were going to die. You didn't? I totally didn't. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you all for watching this video of zombies. Might do a series of zombies in random games with Call of Duty or just do a Call of Duty tab in general. Yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm a little winded right now from running back and forth to across my house. <laughs> so, any comments from you, Lightning? Uh, no. All I have to say is that I hope you guys have... I hope you factory workers and darklings have a wonderful night or day wherever you're at. And we'll see you in the next video. Indeed we will. Y'all have a great day. See y'all again next time. Goodbye.